This was Hope Gross's playground, the Warminster Naval Base. You know, as a child playing in around all this, it was really exciting. And you didn't think there was anything to be worried about? Absolutely not. A 2016 Defense Department study found her neighborhood outside of Philadelphia was contaminated with PFAS, a chemical the DOD widely uses in firefighting foam. It seeped into the air and groundwater. At 25, she was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. Her father died of a brain tumor. And according to her doctors, her neighbors also contracting cancer and rare diseases at an alarming rate. In 2014, the Navy changed its groundwater filtration system and is now monitoring for the presence of PFOS. Are you angry? What do you want? I was very angry, extremely upset, um, gone through the cycles for the past five years, and now I want clean water for this town and for the whole world because our government is failing us. But today, EPA Administrator Michael Regan telling NBC News they're unveiling the most aggressive plan to date to limit the amount of PFOS in water and air. They have eluded regulation, uh, but that ends. Right now, this administration is taking action. So what is PFOS? It's a class of hundreds of synthetic chemicals that have been used since the 1950s. Contamination from the chemicals is widespread. It's not just used to fight fires. It's also found in common household items like pizza boxes, nonstick pans, rain jackets, waterproof shoes, carpet and stain resistant furniture. And a brand new study found that half of all makeup and beauty products contain PFOS. They never break down once they're released into the environment and it means they stay in your body for a really long time. That's why they're the forever chemicals? That's why they're forever chemicals. Studies have shown some PFOS are linked to adverse health impacts like high cholesterol, infertility, immune deficiency, and some cancers. Why has it taken so long to get to this point? You know, what I can say is we are acting with a sense of urgency. I've seen firsthand the exposure uh, from these chemical compounds and what it does to a family's confidence. We understand that sense of urgency. This is a bold strategy and we're moving forward. The EPA's new roadmap would create a new drinking water standard and enact a cleanup strategy of these toxic sites. The lobby group that represents PFOS manufacturers, including 3M, Comores, and DuPont, says that it supports some regulation of PFOS, but that not all PFOS are the same and they should not be all regulated the same way. The EPA, though, says this is just the first step. Guys, back to you. Important story. Leanne, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.